Aloha! <laughs> Welcome to our weekly Facebook Live. We will get started in just a minute. If you're watching the replay, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. So, just one second. We will get started. All right. Be sure to say hi when you hop on. I would love to see who's on here with us tonight. And let me just find this. And I can share this over in our group. Maybe it's not pulling up for some reason. Hi, Kara. Hi, Kate and Rita and Cynthia. Hello, Carrie and Mary and Pat and Deb, Wendy and Vicki, Maria and Lori. It's so good to see all your names. Oh, there it is. I'm like, it's not showing up on my phone. I can't uh, show it. So I think I can now. Um, hello everyone. It is May 26th and we are here for our weekly Facebook live. So yes, this hat I got, um, in Maui from Stampin' Up. I don't know if you can see it. So I thought I would wear it just to start with. I'll take it off in a minute. <laughs> so it, this is not letting me share this to my group. Um, I wanted to share this to my group, Owl Star Stampers. If someone could share that, I would appreciate it. My internet isn't working very great on my phone. So, um, I'm trying to figure out why if I'm connecting to Wi-Fi or not. Oh, technology. Hi, Carla. Thank you, Linda. Okay, let me see if my phone will connect to the Wi-Fi so I can share this. It's not. Thank you, Kathy. Um, okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I let my hair down tonight. It's been in a braid for like days. Um, so it's kind of wavy from, uh, I just keep putting it in braids. And yes, I got, this is one of the hats, the gifts I got from Stampin' Up. Um, on the incentive trip to Maui, this fun beach hat, which I really, really needed because on the first day we had a brunch and, um, I got really badly sunburned. I'm very, very fair skinned. And so I always sunburn first before I turn to a tan. And so, um, anyway, um, I had sunblock on and everything, but in Hawaii you have to reapply it a lot. And so, um, so anyway, I got my shoulders and like my chest got really burnt. The the first day and so this hat was perfect because it like gave me a little bit of shade when I was out in the water so I just thought I would wear that to get started I'm gonna take it off now though because it is a little hard with this big hat on to stamp with so I'm gonna set it over here <sighs> all right and now we um we're going to get started in for tonight. So thank you all for joining me tonight. I see several of you have shared and said hi and commented. Don't forget if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel to do that. I'm trying to get up to my subscribers up to 5,000. So I would appreciate that and you can share that YouTube channel um, as well. So tonight I have a fun card that we're going to make. Um, I really wasn't sure what we were going to do. I have tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time, we are going to, um, whew, my hair, 
um, we're going to be doing our virtual class. And so what I did is I took some of my favorite swap cards that I got. One of them is mine that I created and then three others, and we're going to make those tomorrow at two. So if you have to work or you can't catch it, sorry, my shirt, I just am so discombobulated tonight. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but anyway, tomorrow at two, we're going to be making four new cards from swap cards that I got in Maui. And so I can show you a little sneak peek. Um, we're gonna be doing a cute little turtle one, um, a penguin, puffer, um, this was my swap card, so we're going to make mine, and then we're going to make one other one with the peach set, which is not, it's over here like 90% assembled. So anyway, that's tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I'll have an ordering special. If you guys want to order tonight, or some of you have, um, if you order $50, you're going to get the four make and takes plus a thank you gift from me. So that's tomorrow. So I was working on that today. And so then this Facebook Live sneaked up on me. The other thing I was doing today was sleeping. I literally slept almost the entire day. Uh, I know I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, we actually flew home on Sunday night. Like we left Maui at 10 p.m. And we flew to Los Angeles for five hours. And then we basically got off the airplane and ran to the next terminal and got on a plane and flew four and a half hours to Chicago. And then we um, flew into Flint, Michigan. And so when I got home home, it was about five o'clock, 5 p.m. on Monday. So I lost like, it was weird. And I didn't, I couldn't sleep on the plane. So anyway, I, I did take a nap on Monday. I know I shouldn't have. But then I got up and I stayed up um, till about 11 and went to bed. Yesterday, I got up at 7 a.m., and went all day long, and guess what? I never went to sleep. I could not sleep last night. It was up till almost four o'clock in the morning. So today has been crazy, just trying to adjust back to time. But anyway, I got the cards ready for tomorrow, so that will be very exciting. I hope you can join me or catch uh, those tomorrow. And so tonight, we're just going to make a really fun um, card. We are going to be using this stamp set, Timeless Tropical, which is very fitting for just getting back from uh, Hawaii, but this stamp set has um, some really good sentiments and images. And then in um, the back of the catalog, there is a set of coordinating dies. They are called um, In the Tropics. And do I have a catalog here? I can show you. Um, I'm just looking if I have a catalog. I can show you where they're at, but I don't think I have a current catalog down here. But I, so I'll link um, the item numbers, but they're separate. So you they do coordinate, but the um, dies are in the back, and the dies have some extra little pieces. Some of them will cut out these images here, um, but then some cut out like these special pineapple and the word aloha and some other little flowers. So it's a really cute set. Um, so, so that's what we're going to be doing tonight. And the, the card we're making tonight, actually my friend Jennifer Hill created this as her swap card and I didn't get it, but I thought it was so cute and she used a really, really fun technique. So I'm excited to share that with you. If you want to do some shopping tonight before our virtual class tomorrow, remember if you place a minimum $50 order before tax and shipping, you'll get my goodies for tomorrow for our virtual and yeah, I think we're ready. I think we're gonna get started. So let's turn the camera down. Um, I also have a, another um, event coming up, so I will share that at the end. Hopefully I don't forget. If not, I'll share it tomorrow. Um, okay, I'm scared to turn this down because I'm not gonna lie, I came home to a cr craziness down here. So here we go. All right, so for our card base, um, you are, this is just my phone mat. I don't think I need this, so I'm gonna set this aside. But we are going to be using a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock for our base. I'm not sure, she might have used crushed curry for hers, but we're gonna use a bright yellow, and we are just going to cut this in half at five and a half um, for our card base. This is just a regular sheet of cardstock. Thank you so much for all the welcome backs. I had a great, I had a great time. It was, um, it was so nice to get away. Very relaxing and beautiful weather in Maui. 
the um I'm scoring this now at four and a quarter so I love this paper trimmer because I can score it and cut it all at once um thank you Kate uh, she said I just liked your YouTube channel thank you so much um, okay, so here's our card base, and now I'm just going to take my bone folder, and I'm going to go over that crease really well. So there we have it. And um, so, so there's that. Okay, the next piece we have is a piece of Whisper White, and this measures five and a quarter by four, and I already um, embossed it with the, oh gosh, painted is it the painted texture embossing folder so it has this really cool um texture in the background so we have that and then just another piece I already die cut from the tasteful labels um this piece now she used a different label I was like scrambling to find a label so this is from our in good taste designer series paper it has like the wood grain and so I just cut that label out ahead of time Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do her fun technique. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, I am gonna use this mat. You're gonna take um, a piece of scrap paper and then your white cardstock. Um, I couldn't remember how she told me how she did this, but then it came to me at like 7.59. So I ran upstairs and grabbed what I needed. So I grabbed two yellows. I have Daffodil Delight and Bumblebee. Um, crushed curry would work too, but I believe she told me she used two different ink pads. And what you're going to do is you're going to, now you could do this on a whole sheet of cardstock. So then, um, so then you could like cut out a whole bunch of these at once. So I'm going to do my lightest color first. So my Daffodil Delight and then uh, my Bumblebee. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of Saran Wrap or um, minus press and seal. And I actually ripped it off and crumbled it up before I, sh I should have showed you. But this was um, brand new about a few minutes ago. And it's just, um, so get some cling wrap or saran wrap, whatever you want. And then cut up, like tear a piece off and then just crumble it up, okay? So it's just crumbled. Then you're going to dip it in, do you see that? Dip it right in your light color and you're going to like kind of stamp it on your paper. Now this is another way to make a really cool background. So there we have that. Do you see that? Oh, is it not focusing? Okay, come on. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. I guess I moved it too fast. So there's what it looks like now. That is the, um, the lighter color, the Daffodil Delight. So now you could wipe this off. Here I go, I have my chamois right here. Oh, thank you, Linda. Linda is my right-hand woman. She said the stamp set is on page 21 and the dies are on page 60, 163. Um, so I'm. you can wipe this off or just go into the, the next color. So then you're going to take your, maybe I shouldn't have done that because I'm gonna actually fold my paper over to the other side. It's crumbled up. I'm going to go into the darker color and again just like dab it in there and then kind of go over and this is going to give your yellow um, just a little bit of a variation on your little background and do as much or as little as you want but this just a new technique maybe you have I have never done this ever so then you have this is your background then you can take this when you're done and just toss it Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I am going to close these up and then I'm going to take my dies. So in here we have, let me show you, we have uh, um, we have this pineapple and that's what we're going to cut the pineapple um, out of. And then we have um, the top of the pineapple, which I already did in um, some granny apple green. So you're, um, So there's that. And then what else do we have in here? We have some different leaves and they emboss and cut. So that's really cool. And then these um, will cut out these shapes here. And then we have one for each of the flower and the pineapple. And then you also get an extra set of three flowers here and the aloha. So it's a really fun set. I just think this is really cute. 
So anyway, I'm going to run over and I'm going to cut this out really quick. So just give me about um, 20 seconds to do this because I wanted to show you that background technique. So let me get my die cutting machine set up. And okay, here we go. Okay, so I die cut that through. And um, so now I could do like several with this one piece here. You're going to want to take your take your pick tool, which mine is not handy. So I'm using the point of my scissors to kind of peel this out. And then um, you just can pop out those little pieces. And that just gives you a really cool, um, it's going to give you a really neat background for this uh, pineapple. So like that, can you, can you see that? So again, you can add um, as much or as little colors you want, but that's the, um, that is that. So I'm gonna put these dies away so I don't lose them. We're done with those for right now. And we are gonna take the Green Apple Green ink. We're going to sponge the top, or sponge ink up the top of our pineapple. Um, so, we don't carry sponges anymore, but we do have um, the sponge daubers. So you can use these. I have these in all the colors. I just didn't grab one, and I do have my little green one here. So use your blending brush or whatever, but see how this um, embossed it and cut it all at once. So I'm going to peel these back real quick, and then um, take that piece out. Okay, and then I'm just going to ink this up. I'm going to just add a little bit of color on here to give it a little bit of dimension. So I'm just trying to go around the edges and then to hit some of these little flaps there. So there we go. So there is that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do for this card is we are going to stamp our sentiment and we're going to stamp rest and relax. You deserve it. Or you could stamp may your birthday be memorable. Um, thank you. Hello. Or our friendship is timeless. So we're going to do, um, well, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we'll do the birthday one. I think we'll do the birthday one. Actually, I, I always need some birthday cards. So there, we're going to stamp this just in uh, our uh, black ink, Memento. We're just going to do Memento. And, oh, thank you. I see your comments. And I saw a heart go by that said, so cute. Uh, Kathy, thank you. Hello, Sharon. Okay, so we're inking this up. And we are going to stamp this right in the center. Now, I don't have her card, so mine is obviously going to look different. Um... And I got, looks like there's something in my ink pad and it got on the, just a second, I gotta fix this. Looks like there was like something on that linen pad. Oh, like a fuzz, there was, I got it off. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, so there's our stamping on there. And then um, here, we're gonna just clean off the stamp really quick. This is a, our chamois. I know a lot of you know what this is um, a lot, but I just got another comment of somebody asking me what this is. So this is like seven or eight dollars. It's in the back of our catalog and it comes purple. It comes like this when it's brand new. Well, it's flat. And then you get it wet with water and then you clean your stamps off. And when it gets really dirty, you just rinse it out. It does get hard. Um, from the air, but the water just re, re gets it, um, good, but I keep mine in one of our clear cases. Um, so anyway, that's what I use to clean my stamps. Do you store your finished cards by occasion or how? I usually do, Paula. I, um, well, I started with like a shoe box, like one of those decorative ones, and I have them by like masculine birthdays and then birthdays and maybe like more juvenile birthdays and then thank yous and sympathy and all that. So that's how, um, that is how I store my finished cards or how I used to. Okay, we're going back to our embossed piece right here. 
and we're going to add a little bit of flicking in the background. I saw that she did that. So let me, um, I'm going to see, I can't tell. It looks like she might have done like a light brown. So I'm going to grab the crumb cake blend. Um, these blend, you guys know I love them. And you take the brushed end, see it looks like the brush. And I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to add a little bit of speckles on here. So how you do it is you carefully, because you don't want to ruin your, um, your blend is you kind of set it in here, if you can see, and you kind of drag it on the cap. And when you do that and pull, it's gonna flick some things on there. So you guys know I do this a lot. So I'm just gonna flick a little bit of this because she actually did that, <laughs> which you guys know I like that. So we got a little bit of that in the background now. And now we are going to do, um, we're going to take the shimmer vellum so the in color vellum some of you got this right before i left uh, when the new catalog went live so it comes in all of our new in colors and it is really um shimmery so this is the polished pink and the fresh freesia and the pale papaya and what she did is she took our strawberry punch okay you guys exciting news if you've been waiting for the strawberry bundle and or punch to come back in stock, it is available today. And so um, get it while you can. I know I have um, a club member, Barb, Barbara. Um, she um, has been waiting for this so patiently. And so anyway, it's, it's in stock. So we're gonna use this little flower and punch out three of these flowers with the strawberry punch. So um, we're gonna take, I'm going to, um, put it in the corner so I'm not I'm not gonna stick this whole thing in because I only need that little flower so I'm gonna put it in and punch out one of each of these I'm gonna do the fresh freesia and then the polished pink so have you guys ever been to um Maui or Hawaii it is it is so beautiful we've we went there for our 10 year anniversary because we never went on a honeymoon and it was so wonderful to go back and punching this one out. And with, I was very nervous to travel with the state that our world is in, but we had to go through a lot of, um, there was a lot of help things we had to do and co special COVID tests and um, upload things to the state of Hawaii before we came and all this stuff. So I actually felt very, very safe there. Um, anyway but it was definitely different traveling so now that you have your little flowers what um, we're going to do is take your snips and we're going to cut towards the center of all of these but not we're not cutting them off we're just cutting like the little pe petals out just like this thank you Linda for sharing the strawberry bundle okay so here's that so we're see how we cut the we cut the little flower like that. We're gonna do that with all of them. So just don't go all the way too far. You could cut off your little thing. But I guess if you do, just punch out another flower, that's all. Okay, so we're gonna do these. And then, yes, uh, Mary said we were there election day of 1976. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, Oh, Susan said we were there in our honeymoon 44 years ago. And Cynthia said my daughter lives on the big island. That is so cool. Um, okay, so there we have that. And now we're going to do our last little flower. So this is just a little step. You don't have to do this step, but I really liked how it looked. And I even asked her, I said, where did you get those flowers from? Like, I don't remember a dye like that. And then she said, it's from the strawberry punch. And I snipped them. And I, you're so smart. So here is this. So we went on two different excursions while we were there. And um, the one was a rafting. You, we went on this big like inflatable raft to see like lava caves and to go snorkeling. Now number one, I don't like fish. I'm terrified of fish. So why would I sign up for a snorkeling event? Because I love the beautiful blue water. I get like 
like, I don't even know, like taking like out of body experience or something. I just like want to go in the water. Um, cause the first time I actually did go snorkeling in Oahu on Hanama Bay. So, um, anyway, we signed up for that and I thought I may go snorkeling. I may not, but we were having such huge waves coming over our raft, soaking out. And, um, anyway, I was the one that got seasick out of everyone on our on our thing, which was not very big, but it was very embarrassing and whatever. I learned my lesson to take drama me no matter what. But we saw it was still very beautiful and um but I did not snorkel. So I saw some beautiful pictures. Um somebody took some great pictures of all the fish and this and the turtles. Oh my gosh, it they looked awesome. Okay, so we're going to put our card together. We're going to layer this down. Nope, have... Uh, yeah, Janelle, my husband also um, suffers with uh, some blood clots. He's on uh, medication, and so he has to get up on the plane, like, a lot and walk, like, back and forth to the bathroom. And then also do, like, some little ankle exercise like this with his legs, Um throughout the flight so I do understand that it, and it is a long flight especially if you're on the east coast it's not it's not a fun flight but okay so we're layering this down and next up um we are going we are going to add our um watermelon here watermelon this isn't a watermelon this is a pineapple and we had lots of pineapple there, and it was absolutely delicious. They have a Maui gold pineapple. So good. So we're going to add this down with our liquid glue. Oh, no, Mary, you got seasick in Pearl Harbor. That, I, I didn't. And I haven't been motion sickness in quite a long time, so I didn't, I didn't expect to get it, but I did. I will know next year when we go... Um, Next year, we're going on a cruise with Stampin' Up to the Western Caribbean. I am going to take um, a patch that you wear behind your ear for motion sickness. I'm just going to have that the whole trip so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so we're going to take our little pineapple and we're going to put this over. Let's do it this way. I don't know which way it goes. I guess it could go either way. I guess we'll go this way. This way here. I'm thinking I should have added more yellow, but that's all right. So we got that, and now we're going to put the top of our pineapple down with some more liquid glue. Thank you, Lisa. She said, welcome back. And I got your order, um, so thank you for that. Okay, so we're adding the top of this pineapple down. I'm going to just put it over here. And now we're going to, I am going to kind of flip those um, little pineapple pieces up just like that. Okay, our next thing is we're going to layer on our flowers with a glue dot. See my hands are sticky from this glue. So I have a whole thing of glue dots here. Okay, we're going to do the purple one first. So we're, you just take your little flower, add the glue dot. So I'm I am very excited for our um, cards tomorrow. I'm gonna stick that one down. Then we're gonna do the pale papaya. We're going to um, stick this one down over here. And then we got our polished pink. And we're going to do this one and put this one over here. There are so many gorgeous flowers and plants in Hawaii. I would, my husband probably got sick of me because every time we would walk, I would like stop to take a picture of one or, and just look at it because I was, I was just like I, so mesmerized by them. I'm just trying to pull these little petals up a little bit from the flowers. So it's kind of what where we're at right now. And then we're going to take our um, little sentiment here and we're going to pop this up over here. So with uh, some dimensionals, I'm gonna put two on the back 
And yes, I think I would have liked, I should have cut out more of the yellow here to get my pineapple a little bit darker. But um, that was my first time doing that technique with the saran wrap or press and seal. We're going to put this over here. And then we're going to take some, okay. All right, we're back. Something happened and I lost my internet. I don't know why. <sighs> the internet. Anyway, we were, we we're trying to finish up this card right here. So this is where we were at. And I was just saying how I was going to make a bow with linen thread and add it on. So I hope everyone finds me again. I'm so sorry. My phone internet wasn't working great earlier, but I just thought it was my, my phone not connected to the Wi-Fi. Sorry about that, guys. I hope every see. I just lost like everyone. <laughs> That's so annoying. Now my husband's gonna have to like segue these cards or cards this video together. Okay, we're making a bow with the linen thread, and we're going to um, trim this off, and we're going to add this over here to our card with a glue dot so I'm just going to set that right on there and we're going to take this off and then we're going to um, put this on up here over here by the pineapple okay to finish off the little jewels in our card we're going to take some champagne rhinestones and hello Huh? Yeah, I had to restart. I had to restart it. I'm doing a second video. You're going to have to like merge them. Um, so we're going to take, he just came to tell me the internet isn't working. I am glad he told me, but I did know that. Um, so there's a little um, gems, the smaller ones. So I'm going to add one of these smaller ones right into the center of each of these flowers. So there we have those. These are, again, our champagne um, rhinestones. I love them. So here is our finished card. You can let me know what you think. Again, I'm sorry about the internet um, with what just happened. We got cut off. So... Um, that stinks, but if you watch the replay, um, I'll have a, I'll have it all together so it doesn't like cut off. But there is our card using the Timeless Tropical Stamp Set and the coordinating dies. You can't buy them in a bundle, but you can buy them separately. I was just trying to see if I could pull up the new video and um, re reshare it. Oh, you've got technology, I'm telling you. Okay, so there is our card. Let me know what you think. I'm, I'm trying to see, do I even have any comments? Okay, I finally see comments. Okay. All right, so there is our card. And again, this is a birthday card. It says, may your birthday be memorable. And it is just another new technique on how you can do some little background with some saran wrap and just sponge it in your ink pad. And again, any color that you want, you can um, do that. Um, the other thing is, um, I know I showed you on a video, I again, when we were there, the internet, well, I was off my balcony, so it wasn't the best. But I did show you this cute little um, gift that I made some friends there. And this is using the exact same stamp set and the coordinating dies. And so this is, um, the pineapple that is stamped, and then I use the dies to die cut it, and the aloha, and then it is just on a hippo and friends tag, and then the lotion is from Bath and Body Works, and it's Waikiki Beach Coconut. So these were just some fun little gifts that I um, made for some friends there, and then yeah, so now you have um, a cute little gift and a birthday card that you could give somebody if they were if they liked 
they were into tropical things and if they liked some coconut lotion. So that's what I have for you there. Um, let me see what else I, am I forgetting anything? Um, okay, here is the host code real quick. And I'm gonna flip my screen. Okay, we're back. Um, so again, I just have a few things to remind you. Okay, number one is um, tomorrow at 2, 2 p.m. Eastern time, we will be live making our four cards, our four swap cards. So I hope that you can join me or the replay for that. Okay, Carla said a new event. And the next thing, I'm going to give you a few details right now, but tomorrow I will have them finalized. Um, well, in the next few days. But um, I am going to be doing a, um, a fundraiser. Um, and it, it, the registration is not open yet, but it will be soon. But it, we're going to be making some cards. And um, a portion of everyone that takes the class um, and or if you purchase the bundle that I'm using, I will give 20% um, of that as well. And then a chunk of the card class. Once I figure out the cost of the class, I roughly have it in my head. I'll tell you all the details, the specifics. But anyway, um, I'm going to be donating that to um, my best friend. Um, her mom, Sue, um, is actually um, going through um, some chemo treatments right now. She has lung cancer. And so the money is going to be going to her to help her um, offset some expenses and just things that you need. So um, I don't know if you personally may have gone through this or you know somebody very close to you. Um, also, my mom um, had lung cancer and um, she passed away um, 11 years ago. And so in May, I didn't do it last year, but in previous years, I have done... A similar thing and I have donated money to the American Cancer Society for lung cancer research um, and so this year I'm going to be doing the same thing but um, the money will be going to Sue who lives in North Carolina to help her um, with, um, with with what she has going on so anyway I will have hopefully the card samples made up tomorrow and I can let you know all about the, the class that we're doing. And if you sign up for the class, just know that it is for an amazing cause. And um, I have known her since I was eight years old. So she's kind of like a second mom to me. And so um, anyway, that's what the other event will be um, coming in the next few days. So, um, so yeah, so that is my event. Oh, Linda said, I will honor my mom who passed from lung cancer. Yes. Lung cancer, I feel like um, people don't talk about it a lot, or maybe that's just me, um, but like a lot of people die from lung cancer, and like my mom wasn't even a smoker, um, so you can, um, it affects a lot of people, and a lot of people um, tragically get this, um, so my uh, fundraiser is to bring awareness and to help somebody in need, so I hope that you guys will be I'm excited to hear more about that and um, join me in that cause in the next few days when I have everything completely finalized. So I hope that you enjoyed our cute card tonight. I hope you liked that new technique, the background technique with the saran wrap. And um, if you try it out, let me know. Tomorrow again, we'll be live making four, four new cards. I have three of them here from some of my favorite swaps from Maui. I'll also maybe show you some of the items I got in Maui as well. I didn't have, I honestly haven't even unpacked. I unpacked some of my clothes and started uh, laundry. So I have my laundry going, but all my Stampin' Up! stuff is in, uh, is like in the second level. I'm in the basement. So um, I'll try to grab that to show you some new products as well. So I hope that you guys all have a wonderful Wednesday night. And those of you who can join tomorrow at 2, I'll see you then, or I hope you can catch the replay. Have a great night, everyone. And again, I'm sorry about the internet. And so thanks for those of you that were able to find me and hop back on. And if you wanted to shop tonight for tomorrow, um, I know some of you already have. Here's the host code you can use. And if your order is at least $50, you'll get the make and takes and a thank you gift from me as well. I will see you later. Have a good night. Bye.